Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It's Sophia here at Forest Crafts. So today we are doing this card. Um, I'm going to do it in a different colourway. Um, just because I like change things up. Um, and it is from the Forever Blossoms stamp set. This is a cling stamp set. Um, so we're using this flower and we're also using this sentiment which is wishing you a lifelong a long life together filled with love and promise so yeah we're using those two today so and it's just a pretty simple card i am using the stamparatus um just because i did one in a specific place um and i haven't actually really played with that much so and i haven't done it on my channel yet so i want to show you guys Stamparatus, um, and we just got some um, rhinestones down the side. So yeah, let's get into it. So today I'm going to be doing it in uh, petal pink. I believe that's the petal pink. I always get petal pink and blushing bride slightly different uh, mixed up. So I think that's petal pink because it seems to match my petal pink um, <coughs> blend. So yeah, I believe that's Petal Pink. If I'm wrong, and you know Stampin' Up! colours, please do tell me. Um, and then obviously we've just got our basic white um, base here. So the white is, because I always forget. So the white is 9.5 by 13.8. And then our colour card is 10 centimetres by 14.3. Okay, so oh no, good paper straight Okay, so let's get the stamp artist first of all. So if you don't know what a stamp artist is, it's basically a big stamping. I don't know what you call it. Um, but <laughs> I don't know what you would call this. Um. Basically, it really helps if you're doing, um, if you're making a lot of cards with the same sort of sentiment or the same picture on it, um, because all you have to do is just place a stamp on here, switch it as you'll see today, and just place it down. Also, if you're doing the same stamp but putting it in multiple places on the card, it's big good because you can move these around, and you get two plates come with it. There's one that goes on the side, and then you've got these up here, so. If you want to, you can stamp downwards. But I'm just going to stamp it on the side today. Um, oh, because these. No, no. <laughs> so, I'll just put the. Get the big stamp out. Because these are new stamps, they stick very, very well. So, we will get the white piece of card first just place this on here now um when you get this you'll get the foam mat and then you also get this here the foam mat is for um specifically if you're kind of using photopolymer um stamps um although it still does leave a good impression on here um but you'll need you need that extra base of support if you especially if you're using photo photopolymer on here um all i've done is just cut up a sheet of grid paper just to protect it and just so i can still line it up um i left it on for the cling stamp just because it still helps with that it doesn't it's nice to keep it a nice even stamp experience so just gonna put them on there just to make sure that it stays in place so basically all i did was just kind of place this down where i wanted the stump so like that it's good because this one actually curls slightly so it's it's a nice one for if that's the only one you're using um so i'm just gonna put that under there just when i ink that up so i've got memento 
black ink today because we are going to be using the blends. And whereas normally you'd see me patting it, the stamp on the ink pad, because this is a large stamp and it's not so easy to put it on the block, um, I'm just going to stamp it over here. So yeah, it's all inked up. Was right. We'll go with it, we'll see what it does. So then all you do is pop it down, give it a nice even press, and then get back up, and you've got a perfectly beautiful stamped image. And it's good because it keeps it all flat, and if you've got a bit of a wobbly hand, it's a good way of making sure nothing shifts as well. So we are going to use Petal Pink and Mint Macaron for the leaves today. Um, whilst I've got my pink out, what I'm doing is I'm just going to get some rhinestones out. And because these are clear, the great thing about them is, oh, one's escaped out there. Yeah, but I can know you. Is you can use your blends to actually cover them in. So I'm going to use the dark petal pink. It just it won't do much, especially with the petal pink, but it'll just be a nice colour. It works better with darks. So I've got my head in there. I don't know if I'm in frame there. That one wants to move. Let's do that one. I don't want it to move yet. So I don't know if you can see it. But those three there. It just gives it a tiny bit of colour. Just makes it a little bit rosy and a bit off. I'll just let that dry so as I've got the dark petal pink in my hand okay so what I'm gonna do is I don't want that side I'm just gonna take the brush tip and we're just gonna do the dark petal pink in the middle the greatest thing about these stamps is that they have the light and dark I don't think they are distinctive no, they're not specific distinctive um, stamp sets, I don't believe. But, as you can see, they've got this shading on it. So, all you'd need to do is just kind of follow. You don't need to follow every line. Um, but it's nice just to make things easier. Because if you're kind of new to the blends or new to I suppose new to kind of this kind of colouring and you don't really know the shades very well and where a darker bit would fall or anything like that. A bit like me, I'm not really aware of sort of flowers where the sun would fall or anything else. So these stamps really help me because I just use where they're slightly darker. And textured that that's where the dark blend would go see so we'll just do the birds as well it's nice it's nice easy one to kind of color in and if you are making sort of batch of these um with this specific stamp set on doesn't make it too awkward to to colour it doesn't it's quite interesting and you won't really get bored you can kind of mindlessly do it in front of a telly or something Oh, I'm just gonna, sorry, I've gone a bit quiet then. <laughs> see, see, I'm not.
not being I'm just kind of when I get to the dark bits I'm just kind of circling them out into each other so there's not so much like a harsh line if you like to see blending um my upline is uh, slim and stylish on youtube she's amazing she loves her blends she's really good she she can grass the light and dark so well mine's kind of a more basic <laughs> level <laughs> um but yeah go check her out as well slim and stylish Who is excited about the new catalogue? Yeah, I am. It starts Wednesday. I'm just going to go back over the bigger flowers. Just give them a bit more definition. I just want them to be a bit darker. Yes, yeah, so the new catalogue is out on June the 3rd. You can officially shop it. Um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you are in the UK, um, please give me a shout and I will happily send you guys one. I see that just darkens it out a little bit. Um, yeah, I am very excited. Um, I will be putting up a video on Wednesday in regards to the new catalogue coming out. Now this one is not, I believe this stamp set was in, yes it was, this stamp set was in the last catalogue but it is carrying over so you will see it in the new catalogue. it's clipped it's clipped yeah i think so <laughs> oh i have any hiccups so yeah you can see so i'm just going to do the same thing with the leaves so i'm just going to go at the dark bits with the dark uh this is mint and macaron um you can use any kind of our greens with this um shade of spruce would be good um or what else is there garden uh garden apple is it granny apple granny apple green i think it's called oh yeah garden green any kind of garden greeny color would work really. I've gone for a set orca just because, well, I'm a bit of a sucker for cell colours. So just doing that. Go. Start with the dark first and then just go now and blending it all in with the light. I do apologise if you can hear things in the background. Um, I've got my window open. My neighbours are probably thinking, who is she talking to? Um, but yeah, I've got my windows open because it's hot. It's very hot. And our upstairs, which is where I am crafting, gets very, very hot. So I can't do it with no window. And the fan's too noisy. So, I'm sorry, I am not willing to bake for my art. <laughs> so, so there, there we go, that's all done. 
See, it's pretty simple. Except, but yes, um, it's pretty simple. Not too much complication in that one. Um, in the colour end. So we're just gonna stamp the sentiment. So I, you would normally use a smaller block. However, as I, you probably know, I am still quite new to stamping up. Um. And I haven't got all the blocks yet, like the colour, the smaller ones. Now you could do this. On. Do you know what? I'm gonna break out the stamp apparatus again because there's no reason you couldn't do this on here as well. need to now if you wonder why i've got these washes on here it's because these magnets are extremely strong so it's not it's really hard to get your finger underneath to pick them up so let's just put that there is that where i want it i want to make sure that's straight yeah What I do when I'm inking them, I just stick the uh, case underneath, just so we've got a bit more. It's not going flat. Again, I'm just dabbing the ink pad on the stamp, just because it's a little bit easier. Now I can see I've got ever so slightly too much ink on a U. So, I'm going to grab just going to grab a piece of scrap. Only because I don't want this to be wrong after I've just done all that. No, that's fine. I just don't want it to be wrong after we've done that and to have to do it all over again. There we go. And see, it's ever so slightly off. <laughs> it's okay. We're we go over it. My inner perfectionist is going slightly crazy but it's fine it's good i can't see it it's fine <laughs> so we're going to stick that on to the backing paper now um i'm just going to do it with tombow only because i've not had the best luck with um positioning lately so to get sticky fingers so we're just gonna put it over then at least then I have a tiny bit of wiggle room in case I said it wrong like that There we go. It's better. So we're just going to stick that onto our card base. Now this is just an A4 of Thick Whisper Wipe. Um, and that is cut in half and then scored in half. Apologies if you can hear my little one screaming. She's showing her dad. She's obviously just walked out of the room for a minute. Um, right, so... I just bound for that. I've bent that a little bit. No mind, it's fine. Oh, apologies. You can hear my lip then. I think her dad must be in the bathroom. Oops, sorting out the washing one at the chair. Because <laughs> I've run a bit upstairs. 
to them. So, just gonna put that in there. Uh, put a little bit too much glue on there. Ooh. And moved it. And then we're just gonna stick diamond tea rhinestones on here. Sorry, I might be out of frame there. Go one, two, and three. I think it's three. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> and there we go. What's that? Sneak peek there. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. So, I've got the purple and the green, and then the pale pink. So, um, let me know what you guys think is your favourite. Um, oh, I've actually done that slightly different. I actually propped that up on Dimensionals. So, um, and I've stuck that flat. So, let me know which one you found, uh, like more in the comments below. If you're not a subscriber, please do uh, press that subscribe button. And don't forget to press the bell as well. And you'll be notified whenever I put up a new video. I am trying to get into a routine of putting them up every Sunday and Wednesday. Um, with the odd, maybe, maybe virtuing into doing a, a live every now and then. Um, when I get a bit more confident <laughs> with YouTube. Um, but yeah, let me know which one you like. Um, don't forget if that is the Forever Blossoms stamp set. And that is um, available as of now. If you click any of the links down below, I have my either my Facebook um, or my website, my shop, you'll be able to get that. Um, so yeah, hope you all have an, a lovely day and enjoying the sunshine if it's sunny where you are when you're watching this. And until next time, see you later. Bye.